Hello, we're going to do a quick review on the complete clear compiled by uh, Canon 202. Uh, this is version 2.2.1. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the launchers that you don't use. So it comes with a couple, and a lot of people want to replace it with the ADW launcher. So, and also at the same time, I'll show you how to replace your next one blue screen to a different one since the next one blue screen is got a different resolution it's not exactly built for our phones so the tool we're going to use is called eStrong's File Explorer on Market it's already installed on my phone so I'm going to go ahead uh, press the home screen here as you can see there's three launchers already set up on my phone here and we're going to show you how to get rid of it and, uh, without using ADB or a terminal straight from the phone. I'm going to go home. File Explorer is already installed. And once you got it open, you want to go to Menu and Settings. Scroll to the bottom. Go to Root Options. Uh, notice I already checked them. So you want to check the Root Explorer and uh, grant it the super user permission as well as uh, mount file system after that's done. That way you can write to the file systems. And I'm going to back up and uh, as you can see there's going to be a home button here that this typically you're going to be at this screen when you first install it it's the SD card is going to be your home screen uh, that's where everything's at and as you can see I already downloaded the boot animation.zip and to verify it uh, you open it up you'll see a text file and two folders for all your images the text files this uh, one shows the sequence so we're gonna go get our launchers. Press the slash, and they'll take you to the system in the root directory. That's where everything's at. So we're gonna scroll down to system. Short click. I'm gonna go to app. It's gonna love all your apps, and this is where your launcher is gonna be. So we're gonna scroll down to launcher. Okay, you see launcher APK, launcher pro. I'm keeping launcher pro, so. I'm going to get rid of the launcher. On press and let's focus here and you hit delete. So this is gone and notice if I press the home screen now, there's only going to be two. Alright, let's check out the ADW launcher. Um, as you can see, just just installed it. So It's previously installed so you're going to see uh, uh, some leftover settings I already have is the docking um, market and you get the zoom in zoom out whatnot and as well as the side scrolling app drawer that's ADW go to launch pro so you can see this ROM is very fast oh, I switch this home no problem once it loads up, I'm gonna check it out. You get the quick zoom in, zoom out, you get the scrolls. Um, since I don't have the default checked, I'm gonna check the default here. And if you press the home key, it's gonna give you the animation. It's very smooth. It's a very nice ROM. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of one more launcher. So we only have one left. We'll go back to the Explorer. So you can see it's still in the screen, comes right back, no problem. All right, since the ADW launcher is installed from market, it's gonna be in a different folder. I'm gonna navigate to that. Make sure you press home or you can press back key, what have you. You wanna basically navigate yourself back to the root directory here. Uh, it's gonna be under data and app. And it's gonna be at the bottom here, and you can see the ADW Launcher APK. And long press, delete. Okay, now it's gone. And notice if I press the home key now, it's gonna go straight to the Launcher Pro. There's no other choices. And now we only have one launcher left. It's very easy. All right, now we're gonna replace the boot screen. Um, 
something different. I'm going to go back to the Explorer again. Uh, if you hit home, this is where you go back to the SD card. And let's find the boot animation.zip. Go ahead and long press and copy. And you'll notice the little triangle at the bottom there. This is your clipboard. So you can pull that up and you can see the file is reside there. And again, we're going to go back to the root directory. I'm going to go to system. And I'm going to go down to media. And uh, quick note for the G1 users. This is where your audio is and uh, you can at this point get rid of all the audio so you don't want to use. That will save you some space uh, for you to flash the black screen patch. It's very nice. Um, so here we go. Um, to help you pick you can quickly just press a file. No play. As you can see it will go right into my music player to preview whatever notification ringtone there is um, you hit back and you're right back into the the explorer and you can go ahead and let's say if I don't want this one I'm going to go ahead and press and delete and it's gone alright now to the boot screen so we're going to go back out to the media and you'll see the and go ahead at this point and go ahead and delete that. Uh, since I already did it, I'm not going to do it again. don't want to keep flashing my phone. So once you delete that, you can pull out the drawer, long press. Yeah. And uh, you'll see the paste. That way you'll paste it into this particular folder and basically replace that uh, original boot screen. So we're going to go and reboot the phone and check out the new boot screen. And on a side note, um, if you want to push an app into your system folder, you would do basically what I just did there. Um, basically copy and navigate to the system app folder and push it in just like that. So this boot screen is called the Android, uh, Android Scribble. Um, it's on XDA form. Look for it. It's pretty cool. And the ROM is... So the Cyanogen uh, variant made by uh, compiled by Canon 202, the version 2.21. It's NESPL, and um, also you can do a uh, multitask patch kernel, and which is what I have here, as you can see. It's very fast ROM. And here's your new boot screen. Alright, we got it. So everything's done without using ADB or terminal. Just using your phone by eStrong's File Explorer. Hope you enjoyed.